to be able to reduce noise without harming the signal was was something that people had been striving for, had been hoping for, for, for decades. The literature of the 1930s is replete with uh, examples of, uh, of noise reduction systems that had been designed, and that activity carried on uh, at least until the outbreak of the Second World War. Everyone was hoping for some, some way of, of reducing noise, and no one had succeeded. Uh, the the cure, al cure always seemed to be worse than, than the disease. And naturally, I was fascinated by this problem. I had been working at Ampex, and uh, the, the problem of noise was well known and understood by the engineers working in that field. My recognition that the noise is really very, very small in comparison with the loudest signal that one deals with in sound recording. Uh, professional recorders at that time had signal-to-noise ratio of nominally 60, de 60 decibels. That's a, a voltage uh, ratio of, of uh, 1,000 to 1. In other words, the, for a maximum signal height of this much, this, the noise is extremely small, one-tenth of one percent. And, and all, all previous noise reduction efforts had uh, revolved around compressing and expanding that whole signal. Uh, in other words, manipulating very loud sounds within a, in a nonlinear way, dynamic way, in order to artificially elevate the, the, the soft sounds during the recording process so that during playback one could reverse all of this and get the, the loud ampli uh, high amplitude signals back to, into their normal proportions and also particularly the quiet signals back to where they should be. And in reducing this, the quiet signals to their correct uh, levels, one also suppressed the noise. I said there's something wrong with, with treating the, uh, the high amplitude signals. I'm going to try to send all the high amplitude signals straight through, not do anything to them. And I'll confine any any signal manipulations that I do only to the the low amplitude signals. And in my first uh, noise reduction system, I, I set my thresholds of of action um, some 60 decibels below the maximum peak level of the signal, almost 60 decibels. I arranged a circuit such that only very, very low-level signals could make, make it through this uh, uh, limiter circuit. It was really a, um, uh, a limiter circuit, a syllabic limiter, uh, so, so that um, when the signal levels die down to a c certain uh, level below the, the, the threshold, the signals went straight through, unattenuated. As soon as a loud signal came, came along, uh, the uh, attenuation would take place, that signal could not get through, and during that, that time did not contribute to uh, uh, the total signal which was added together during recording and um, subtracted during, uh, during playback. This whole scheme worked together in a hand-in-glove way such that I could get the noise reduction that I needed when the ear demanded it and I didn't do anything to the signal when the ear said, I can't hear any noise anyway. It would be nice to use many frequency bands, uh, uh, but uh, I had to bear in mind the, the economics and practicality of the whole thing. Four frequency bands seemed about right to me uh, with the experiments that I had done, l listening to uh, uh, white noise, pink noise, tape recorder noise, uh, and, and um, things like that. After doing some experiments and, and choosing different values for the frequency cutoffs of the filters, I settled on the uh, frequencies that I, I used in the A301, and th they worked out pretty well for the most part. If I could have done it again, I might have set uh, the band 3 frequency a little bit lower, but, but it, work, it works well enough uh, most of the time. 
to get the professional system going was a was a very big job because it had to go internationally or it couldn't go at all and so so I had to spend a lot of time traveling and, and uh, uh, and giving endless demonstrations to skeptical uh, engineers um, all over the world who had been taught that noise reduction was impossible and, and, and that uh, only charlatans came along once in a while with the promise of noise reduction.